This is the start of the final arc, excluding the movie, right? Because that's its own different canon arc. But apparently, this is the one where I'm supposed to cry like a little bit. I'm telling you something, man. I'm built different. I have never cried watching children's cartoon Oceanoku episode 1. Definitely didn't happen. And in fact, if you're from the old channel, Arcane episode 3 also did not happen. I'm a goddamn man. You know what that means? Men don't show feelings. They bottle up their emotions and never show anything. That's what it means to be a man, but... I might be a little busy and cry. We'll see what happens. Let's begin today's reaction. The recent fuss. Being out in public with their boyfriend. It's a, it's a brother that you never knew. And I? Should, should she give this much detail? Will she proudly show off her boyfriend or try to hide it? Oh, actually, it's going pretty well. Very professional. Damn, she has a script, dude. <laughs> nice way to shift the topic. And, oh, pivoting back, you know, the reason I returned was because of him. She had, uh, this is an amazing public relations speech. Like, damn. I, there's no way things get solved this easily, though, right? Maybe there's gonna be like a super stalker involved? But yeah, so far everything looks too good. Kaida's goals for the year. Nothing. Way sooner than I expected. I thought like this entire arc was gonna be about their public relations. How she has a boyfriend and there'd be stalkers involved and some fucked up shit might happen. And I guess not. Oh. Oh, she's not blushing that. Uh, I, I thought she'd be like, oh, why you say that? I'm blushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. We get it. Uh, come on, say it back. Damn. Okay. No, but I love you more, though. She didn't say it, but bye-bye. Okay. A letter to Sakuta from... Can we meet at the beach tomorrow? Shoko. Oh, sh Shoko. Shoko? We're gonna deal with Shoko in this arc? Or... Huh? Different Shoko? Okay. Thank you for being so reasonable. My son! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone at the school is gonna be like, God damn it, he's doing it again. <laughs> oh, no kiss allowed. Wow, I, I mean, no, no kiss is allowed? Easy for a kiss? What do you mean? I thought we're already dating. Alright, whatever. Definitely gonna be not by six, right? Who is this girl? This isn't Kai sister's friend. What, we don't have time for this shit. What, what, what is this? No, it is being a little bit of a bother. We gotta make it back by six. Bitch, what are you doing here? Really? Alright. Of course we did. Why are you here? What do you want? I'm being so mean to her. <laughs> Telling her bullies to get... Great! That, that's great! But... Serves them right! Okay. There's gotta be a but though, right? Or... She just feels guilty that she couldn't do anything. Therefore... What are you here for? Is she just here to get the guilt off of her chest? I mean... In the sand? You know, I was here or something? Maybe he just drew a giant dick? No. I got a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> just flexes on her. <laughs> You're going back to school. Oh? Kaede's goals for the year. Go on a walk. Go outside. Frolic at the beat. Everything is with Onichan, though. <laughs> okay. Take the train. Buy pudding. Go on a date with Onichan. Hey, this ain't date alive. Answer a call from someone other than Onichan. Uh, okay. 
Go to school. <laughs> what don't eat? <laughs> My. Yeah, how lucky. Yeah, all you do is spend time at home. You should learn how to cook too. Answer the phone, but she's super traumatized by it, right? Look at her face immediately after that. That's Shoko, right? But which Shoko is this? Probably the cat Shoko. It wasn't her, it's the other girl. <laughs> Two different Shokos. What is going on? Damn, and she does the dishes, bro. You should be doing the dishes. Okay, she's determined, but I don't know. I feel like something fucked is gonna happen. Like someone's gonna call and it's not gonna be like a normal call and she's gonna pick up the phone. I uh -oh. Yeah, kind of. I don't think my mind's though. Oh my god! What if it's not my? No, it's just my and the caller ID. Hello. Congratulations! You picked up the phone! Oh my god, we're so proud of her! Huh? Okay. You actually passing? No, 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 she's fine, right? When did this fever come from? What? This, this, the mental stress of picking up the phone was so much that it just blew up and now she's a fever? Okay. Why is it happening to her neck? What? Wait, wait, wait what? The neck? Because she picked up the phone? Is that a result of the... What? Why would the mark show up now? Because she picked up the phone, but... Okay. This is Shoko, right? We're just going back and forth with Shoko, Kaede... I don't know what's going on, man. Who's this arc centered around? Yeah, go outside and shake your big ass. Oh, come on, Shio. Yeah, that was a weird buckle my shoe. I've never heard of that one. Three, two, one, go. Buckle my shoe. <laughs> oh, careful now. Careful now. You don't want to lead her on. Little sister is still answering the phone. What about the mark on her neck? Okay, maybe I'm getting worried for nothing? What are you doing? She's stalking him. She does seem okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's gonna do it? Yeah, just come over. Take a bath at our place. Come on. Nah, then we can use that bath water. Sorry, bath soup. Yeah? Little sis, what are you doing now? I thought she wanted to go see pandas was the thing. Uh, okay. Cute outfit. Okay. Uh huh. Take a quick break before after you get to the entrance. What? <laughs> this is such a detailed step on the most mundane, trivial thing, but to her, it's not like that, right? That could have just been one step. Take one step outside, but uh, all right. Oh, she gets to get all her modeling clothes. Wow. What are we leading up to? Okay, she got a new outfit. Looks cute. She's ready to go outside, but... Surely things are not gonna work out, right? Like, some shit's gonna go down, right? Hey? Alright? Let's do it? See, what if she like steps, takes a step outside and she just gets like invisible attacks all on her? She just dies. What? What? 
So she's that scared? Let's go. <laughs> Does it work like this? <laughs> sure, how do you quantify it? It's cute. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be today. That's plenty of progress. You can do it next time too. Hmm. It's good that she has an urgency to actually move forward though. Okay, it's not that big of a deal, right? Like, surely everything will just work out with her getting attacked by some invisible attacks, right? What if she just goes outside and her head gets chopped off? Uh, just know your apartment dorm, just take a step outside. Hmm. And Kaede's dead. I don't know. It's, she's not just gonna die, right? Come on now. Alright, we should stop. We should stop. Alright, we should stop. No, no, don't push her too much. I feel like it's not a good idea to do... We're already outside. Kaede, what are you talking about? Oh. Okay. And no attacks on her body? Everything looks kind of okay? You did? Yeah, yeah, we tricked you. But hey, it was for your own good, though. Look, you did it. Uh, and, um... Is this the part where I'm supposed to start crying, guys? No, nah, this isn't it, right? How could you lie to me? <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Okay, it's happy tears. It's happy tears. Oh. I mean, this is like a trauma that's been for years, right? And she actually started to take steps forward, and now she's doing it? But still not sad enough for me to cry, guys. Uh -uh, I ain't crying, bro. I'm a fucking rock. I'm solid, sturdy. Ain't no tears coming down. But this is still episode one of, you know, the three-episode arc. What's, what's going to happen from here on out? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if you're in public and like you're holding it, I, I, <laughs> it's. I guess it's kind of cute. I don't, I don't know. Hey, don't say that so literally. Like, what if that actually happened? Nice little picnic outside at the beach. That's right. My balls are the best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't just say that afterwards. I still can't see the mark on her neck though. Maybe it's the other neck, but <laughs> they're terrible at this kind of. <laughs> what? 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 Her friends. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, are are we sure we should let her? Who are you? She doesn't recognize her at all. Doesn't have her old memories. What? Plot twist? What? How much? Of the memories doesn't she not have? Look, doesn't, does, does she, she must know about her parents, right? So I'm gonna assume everything that led up to the pu puberty syndrome where she started getting all these different cuts and stuff, and then she forgot all about that, so she forgot everything about her school, but she probably still remembers her family and that kind of stuff. Why is this being brought up now? Why are they introducing this Kaede's friend? I thought the whole bullying situation is resolved. She's able to go outside and she's able to, you know, actually move forward. And if you look at it from that perspective, then everything is solved. But it's a three episode arc and her neck, you know, when she was sleeping, there was that mark there. That's still very concerning to me. I haven't cried yet, but next episode, the episode after that. I mean, you guys want me to fucking cry, right? That's why you motherfuckers fucking voted for this series. Can you want it? Like, oh my God, I can't. <sighs> we'll, we'll, uh, when we get there, we'll get there. But hey, well, uh, if you enjoyed this reaction, if you like this video, if you're still here, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.